Exploring Art Masterpieces with Music and Poetry is a program that combines musical arts, language arts, and visual arts. It's a gateway program to the arts where the children fall in love with creating music, creating their own poetry, and looking at masterpiece art in art museums. The process is a lot of fun, it's very hands-on, but at the same time, there's a lot of higher order thinking skills being developed. Literacy, critical thinking, interpretation, synthesis, problem solving. There's a lot of challenge involved with the fun of creating. And it's a collaborative process where children work together in groups, and we like to get the teachers involved, and it becomes one community of creativity. And as well as working on skills of literacy and interpretation, another thing that's happening in this program is that the museum field trip becomes a very dynamic experience. We bring prints from the museum into the classroom for several sessions, and the kids bond with the paintings that they get to see in person when they go on their field trip to the museum. And they have a lot of fun, and we have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Steel Rock by Albert Bierstadt. Smooth, sepia, steel. that uh, a lot of writers use when they're using artwork to inspire a poem or a story. The first way is to pretend that you're stepping right into the painting, that you're no longer where you really are, but you're just getting right inside the painting. I know you like it, but that doesn't give me any taste in my mouth. What's delicious to you as a fish? Maybe it's um, dried anchovies, or maybe it's lemon lime fruit loops. What is your, you know, give me a specific. Um, you can still have action in there, right? What do you do all day? You can still have hidden details. You can imagine what would come in and out of this painting. Hi, I made the goldfish. I'm the most joyful and creative fish in the tank. The smell soothes me happily as I play tag with my friends. Small red spot on the back of a cow in the, on a farm in Wisconsin. <laughs> the mean bull will running at the man, teasing him with the red flag. That's the red flag, and that's the bull. What was wonderful about today's lesson was seeing the students that are a little resilient with their writing to look at a painting and actually just start writing without cues from me and writing the whole five minutes and coming up with something that had strong detail, use of their senses, and truly enjoying today's work. So that made me proud of them. Crescendo means to grow louder. Now, you notice that little uh, sideways wave V that we have there? It starts with a little tip. Have you used that math yet? Yeah, straight yeah. Enough. Right. So it means less than and greater than, right? So here, it means that you're going to start soft and you get louder and louder because you're going from left to right, all right? So let's practice crescendo. So we get really soft. Soft crescendo. Crescendo. 
crescendo, all right? And then I'm going to do fifth, and it means stop, all right? Okay. But you have to follow me, because I might be going up and down. Ready? Crescendo. Really soft. traveling we do. The birds always look at my flowers in my hair. I hope I have a day like this again. Big catch. Flap, flap, flap went the fish on the hook. I was sitting in my boat in the middle of the Arctic Ocean. The ice cold water splashed against my shins. In the distance I could see orca whales with just their fins sticking out of the water. There were mammoth icebergs in the water. The choppy waves rocked the boat. The waves churned under the boat. Suddenly, a big wave hit the boat. The salty water splashed into my mouth. Then my bucket was full of delicious tuna. It was the biggest catch I caught. I hope I catch more next time I go fishing. Picture by Rockwell Kent. Picture named Toilers of the Sea. By David Dawson. Well, what's great was seeing the collaboration of the students working together and um, incorporating the arts into their learning. They were able to look at the portraits and look at and, and visualize music and the sounds and incorporate it into their writing. Um, otherwise, in the classroom and in a day-to-day -day setting, it's very difficult to incorporate the arts in such a manner, but having the help of Ms. Thomasina and Mrs. Johnson to understand how to go about it helped us as teachers to better our learning and our teachers so that come next year, we can do something like this to, gu to guide the kids to write better and to visualize. How do you feel your kids responded to the program? My kids love this program. I mean, I have kids who never... Um, not never, but they don't want, like to write or especially poetry, and it takes a lot to get them to, to do the writing, and they just went with it. Coming from a classroom teacher background, now in the arts, I, I just have a real, um, I have a very strong, true feeling that the arts should be integrated with the children's um, normal, regular day.